Okay, so most of you know that I am back at work now. Um, however, I still, I really enjoyed uh, baking um, at home. It's, it's a nice cathartic thing and I mean, I love cooking, <laughs> I love baking. Um, so why should I stop a routine um, that I developed just because I'm back at work? I mean, I still have time off, still can't do everything that I might have necessarily done with that time off. Um, so I'm going to keep doing this. So I had some apples that I needed to use up. So I decided to make an apple crisp with that. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, yeah, sticking with the desserts apparently. I, you know, I, desserts are one of those things that I, I enjoy doing. Um, but in a professional level, it is a little more complicated because you do, I mean, you have to be so exact uh, at a professional level. It's got to look nice, um, and it's harder to make desserts look nice, at least for me anyway, um, than it is, you know, a salad or, uh, you know, meat and potatoes or like a dish like that. <laughs> um, so that's kind of why um, I tend to gravitate more towards just cooking, at, baking at home. Also, again, I really like experimenting <laughs> and um, you can't do that as much with desserts. <laughs> um, or at least with baking anyway. Desserts, not necessarily, but baking. It's, it is more rigid and it's more easier for things to go wrong if you're not following what they call a formula. They call it a formula. You know, it just solidifies that very scientific aspect of professional. So let's get started. So I already took out the boring part of uh, peeling and slicing the apples. So you can see, there's I left some peel on of, on it, but um, took most of it, most of it is gone. So I've got that my bowl of apples here, and to that I'm going to add sugar. Cinnamon. So this is just, I'm not going to do anything super fancy, it's it's a basic, basic apple crisp. Some flour. And just kind of mix all that, all that together. And then I'm going to spread it out on my a uh, baking, baking dish. <laughs> like that. So next, I am going to make the topping. So I've got oats. Butter. And I'm just going to crumble the butter into it. Softened, not melted, just softened butter. More sugar. More cinnamon. And a bit more flour. So we're just going to use our hands to kind of mix that all in. I want to try something. So I'm going to do only cover half of it right now with the mixture. With, once I get this all crumbled up. You want nice oat flour sugar butter balls. Because you're going to want to sprinkle it on. No, kind of, I'm breaking up again and kind of just sprinkling it on half of the dish. You'll see why in a minute I'm only doing half. I decided I do want to throw a little not so basic, but not too out there um, twist to this. There we go. 
the twist. I'm gonna make it a little chocolatey. I'm gonna put some chocolate powder. And this is just straight up cocoa powder. So I don't wanna put too much, otherwise it'll make it too bitter. And mix that in. So obviously you can do the it for this for the whole thing. I just kind of want to see what it's like with the chocolate added. And then sprinkle that on the same way as you did the other half. So there we go. Uh, so I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven for I believe 20 minutes. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. So it actually took 45 minutes, um, but here it is. Oh, it smells so good. It would be so good with ice cream. Fortunately, I don't have any right now, but I am getting some tomorrow. It's my um, grocery shop day, so. so that's exciting. So yeah, time to scoop into this. See what I meant about the not pretty, but oh my gosh, look at that nice shine on the apples. Nice, oh yeah. This is gonna be good, but see when I need, need some ice cream, that's, that's all that's missing, but yeah, you can definitely see, here I'll go over here too. You can see that nice liquid juices flowing out. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. Oh, hot. <laughs> you can see, that is a nice, it's, oh, it's such a comforting smell to me too. Um, I don't know, but that cinnamon and the, just the baking, it's a good, it's not great for the summer. <laughs> uh, for me anyway, it reminds me of that nice, you know, cold, rainy, or even rainy. There's a nice rainy summer day is actually good. Um, and that smell is just a nice calm. Brings brings everything down for me. So let's let's give it a try now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's a nice that's 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 com that's comfort food right there. That's mm. and the chocolate, the cocoa powder, adds a nice little little something to it without being too crazy too out there. Um, it still remains that nice basic comfort comfort level. So, mm. no, this is what this is a good thing, um, good way to use up those apples uh, if you have. If you have a lot, whether you have an apple tree or whatever, it's good. And it's also good, it's pretty simple if you've got to um, feed like a big family or, you know, obviously not right now, <laughs> but you know, uh, pot, once we go back to potlucks, once potlucks come back, you know, it's a good one to feed multiple people. Um, nice and easy, you don't have to worry too much about about it you just cut up more apples and do more mix like it's there's not really a recipe to it it's it's your own taste so um yeah it's a it's a good one nice comfort enjoy <laughs> <laughs>